Here is a standard pole climber. There are several issues here that, individually, do not seem problematic, but in combination, they make this tool very painful to use. First, there is no means to stabilize the shank, and that instability is felt at the gaff point. This deficiency affects the accuracy of the gaff strike and the amount of force that can be applied to the gaff. It also affects the sense of balance and leaves the user with a vague feeling of insecurity. Second, the narrow shank provides very little support for the padding. Only that part of the padding that contacts the shank is effective. The rest of the padding is useless. Third, since the instep of the footwear is slightly ahead of the center line of the leg, the shank needs to pitch backwards in order to reach the leg. With the climber in this attitude, the force applied to the gaff is not parallel to the shank, but is at an angle to it. So with the stirrup as an anchor point, the force applied to the gaff pushes the shank even further backward, leaving the shank to literally hang on the top strap. The gaffing shock then lands on the shin at the edge of the shank and on the narrow strip of padding under the strap. The Squirrel Max Climber solves a comfort problem by correcting these design deficiencies. The climber itself, the stirrup, gaff, and shank is a Buckingham tool. Attached at the top and replacing the standard padding is my patented swivel-mounted embracing rigid cup or smirk. The rigid cup provides a large platform for three-quarter inch foam padding. The cup is suspended by a torsion spring that relieves the pressure of the downward force created by a combination of the weight of the cup and the drive of the gaffing action. Between the cup and the shank is a swivel that allows the cup to move on two axes so that it can both conform to the user's body shape and move with his natural flexing motions. The restriction of movement on the third axis prevents twisting of the cup around the shank and stabilizes the shank on a line that is fairly parallel to, but off of, the leg. The rigidity of the cup and the restricted axial movement combine to direct all of the gaffing shock to travel up the shank through the swivel and into the cup where it is then properly dissipated by the foam cushion. This is how the Squirrel Max provides such great comfort.